Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Okay, I'm thinking that maybe by accident I might have maybe cropped it at the wrong time in the last one. I don't know how much more is left of this, but it seems like we're going to at least get some important information here, and I wouldn't be surprised if I messed up and after this we go to trial. If that happens, that's fine. We'll just go to trial. It's not a big deal. Um, but... We have a sneaking suspicion that something's going on with the high priest and he might be tied in with the rebels somehow because we're kind of pinning this as like whoever's in the Lady uh, Kira costume could have done this instead of Maya. So that's what we're trying to find out now. And we're wondering if Maya has information. So let's talk to her and see what happens. Oh, it's you, Nick. Maya, are you okay? The questioning wasn't too harsh, was it? No, I'm all right. How about you? Make any progress? Oh no, this music. Ugh. Well, I haven't found any conclusive evidence that could prove your innocence. But I have a small lead. Really? But for right now, I'd like to ask you about the high priest. Sure, ask away. By the way, what's the princess doing with you still, Nick? Uh, listen, about that. I Honestly, she's like Velcro. Like, I couldn't get rid of her. Doesn't she have anything better to do? Doesn't seem like it. I like how she said that right in front of her face. <laughs> Maya has like no shade. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever. It's total shade. I heard that. How rude. Of course I have many other things I could be doing. Like what? Then why are you here, madam? All right, fine. So let's uh see what we have to talk about. The high priest. Tell us everything you know about him. All right, what is it going to be? <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm so sorry. It's just a thought. But do you think the high priest could have been a rebel? Poof. Phoenix, we're just starting out. Firing, are we? Okay. A rebel? Why would you even think that? Because if he was, then the rebel hunter, Lady Kira, would have had a motive to kill him. What? What? Oh, yeah, you probably shouldn't have said that around the prince. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't even think that far. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gonna slap him or something. It's coming, I'm telling you. Uh-oh. Princess Rafa overheard me. Of course she did. She's right there. What? What idiocy is this? Abbott in me. A rebel. It is beyond the pale. My mother has offered the prayer of lament to his soul. That is the sort of person he was. All right. Uh, all right. I was just raising the possibility. I will not listen to such... Such... Tomfoolery. She leave. She storm out of here. Oh, bye, girl. Oh, shit, don't let the door hit you. Where the good lord split you, that's right. She stormed out. Oh, well, nothing we can do about that. Oh, I'm sure that'll come to bite us in the ass later. Wonderful. Do you recall the high priest doing anything suspicious? Um, well, come to think of it, he seemed unusually restless during the right. He kept glancing up at the sky. Well, though I have no idea why. He was restless and kept looking up at the sky? Doesn't that seem like he was expecting that? Doesn't she come down from the sky like with her dagger and like, phoom, didn't we see that happen? Hmm, that doesn't really tell us much, does it? Anything else come to mind? Oh, uh, sorry. That's about it. I guess this is all I'm going to learn about the high priest right now. That's still a clue though, isn't it? Oh, but there is one thing I should follow up on. What's that, Phoenix? I want to keep my spirit channeling ability a secret while I'm here, Nick. What? Why? I'll, um... <clears throat> I'll explain later. Oh, right, of course. I, I, I have my suspicions about why this could be. With Princess Rafa gone, this might be my only chance. I have a feeling it's because maybe... I don't know, maybe, like, it'll look bad for her if she starts channeling, like... Mia? Or like another lawyer? I, you know what I mean? Like a lawyer presence especially? Or I don't know, like something else. It probably doesn't look good to them, right? Channeling. Let's find out. Maya, about what you said earlier. Why can't you tell anyone that you're able to channel spirits? Oh, that. You know how all the queens are also spirit mediums here. I heard. It was kind of a shock at first, though. In Koreanism, Spirit channeling is a secret art that can only be performed by the queen. No one else is supposed to be able to do it. Oh, I see. 
So spirit channeling is a symbol of power of authority, then, in that sense. Now, I can see why it would look bad if a nobody from another country were able to do it, too. Spirit channeling in the Korean tradition was developed from a Koreanist style that was brought to the U.S. via Japan. But it seems that my sian- oh, sorry, my clan's spiritual power is greater than that of the average Koreanese- Oh, you know, I was wondering a little bit about that, too. Interesting. So they like they kind of improved on it, right? Like they went farther than the original. Yeah, can you imagine how that would sting, especially only if royalty was able to do it? It may be a quirk due to how our styles diverge, but I really don't know. So, if spirit channeling is a power possessed only by the queens of Korean, and it's a power that somehow made its way down the line to Maya, well, then I guess that makes Queen Garan and Princess Rafa distant relatives of Maya's. Does, is that what that means? I mean, I guess. I take it- wait, can only the bloodlines learn this channeling technique at all? Can, can anybody dedicated learn it? I can't remember if we know anything about that or not. Anyway, it's not like there's some kind of rule about it. It's just, I'd rather not have it become an issue or anything. Oh boy. Well, now that she said it, in, in before it becomes an issue in the trial and it's brought up and it's going to be a big moment. Oh, I'm calling it now. Come on, come on. We know these games, right? Come on, guys. We know. That's why mediums who come here to train hide the fact that they can channel spirits. I see. I had no idea it was so complicated. I know. <clears throat> Boy, howdy. You know, I thought my voice was going to be prepared for this today. Nope, no, sir. Either way, training here is a must to fulfill the qualification needed to become the master. And what is this qualification to become the master? To be able to channel spirits of one's own volition and without fail every time. Like, remember how my spirit channeling was always kind of hit or miss? I only ever succeeded about 30% of the time. Yeah, and it was more like spirits possessed her as opposed to her channeling them. That's right, in the beginning, she really had no control over it. It kind of just happened. So you can do it every single time now? Whenever you want, guys, don't do... <clears throat> okay, she's old enough. You know what? Do what you want. You guys are free spirits. As long as she's old enough. Yeah, at least, well, I think. You think? Well, I haven't actually tried channeling anyone since I completed my training here. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because she's not allowed to. But once I get back home, I plan on taking the final spirit medium test. I'll have to try channeling one spirit after another in a marathon channeling session. Holy shit, that sounds hard. Only those who pass the test are worthy of becoming the master, huh? Yeah, but I know I can do it. Girl, I believe that you can. I'm gonna ace that test and become the next master. After all, I can't let my clan and the other villagers down. Yo, imagine if she does though, that's gonna be so cool. Right. Maya's the next big hope of Korean Village. That's gotta be a lot of pressure. So, speaking of similarities, I've noticed another similarity between our countries besides spirit channeling. I saw a show on TV earlier that reminded me of the Steel Samurai. Oh, you must mean the Plumed Punisher, warrior of Neo Twilight Realm. Oh, you know it, do you? The Plumed Punisher. The Plumbed Punisher. Every time I want to read it like that. <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong with me? So you've already seen the Plumed Punisher? You really don't miss a beat. Actually, it was her benevolence who told me all about it. Yeah. Oh, you're back, are you? There is not a single person in Kurain who does not know of it. Oh, your benevolence. You're back. Oh, let the party begin. As the Royal Priestess, I am charged with monitoring your movements. Ma'am, I have not moved. From this spot, you are good. So I have changed my mind, for in order to fulfill my duty, I must not avert my ears, not even from your blasphemous theories. Her sense of duty is commendable. <laughs> duty. But I wouldn't mind if she backed off a bit. Yeah, that was like the nicest five minutes we just had without you, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, she's okay. Great timing, your benevolence. There's actually something I wanted to show off. To the both of you. Show off. Maya sure seems excited all of a sudden. What's she got? Yeah, yeah, ta-da! What's that? Oh, look! It's a little, it's a little keychain. It's cute. What's that? It's an ultra-rare plumed Punisher strap. 
There's only one of them in the whole world. It was specifically or specially made to promote the TV show. You, you're the owner of this strap? Don't tell me. You're a plumed Punisher fan too, your benevolence? No, no, no. Well, of course not. Only little children watch that show. I have no interest in such things. Oh, no, she does, though. <laughs> right. No, she totally does. No, I am telling the truth. Sure, let's just leave it at that. So, how did you get your hands on that, Maya? <laughs> I found a kindred spirit in a Plume Punisher fan here in Kurain. It resulted in an exchange of cultures transcending national borders. And by cultural exchange, you mean you swap TV show promo merchandise. You bet! I traded my Steel Samurai watch for the strap. It's a super rare watch that plays the Steel Samurai theme song when the alarm goes off. My newfound Kurinese friend was so happy, I got this one-of-a-kind strap in return. I guess there are people like that wherever you go. Even here in Kurain. Oh, that's great. Watch this. When you press the Magatama on her belt, it plays the show's theme song. Woo! That sounds just like the Steel Samurai theme. What are you talking about? Can't you hear the folk instruments in the intro on the exotic tones throughout? It is different. It's not exactly the same. But like I said before, it does have the same kind of hits. Plus, the Steel Samurai has Japanese taiko drums that go... Yep. Dun, 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 in the intro. Plume Punisher strap. This one of a kind strap plays the Plume Punisher theme when the Magatama on her belt is pressed. All right. Wonder why we need that. Um, right. I guess my ears just aren't as good as yours. Anyway, I have this amazing idea for a new show The Plume Punisher versus the Steel Samurai. That would be fun. I'd watch that. I'm gonna totally go pitch it to some TV stations when I get back home. It's going to be a huge hit. Right, your benevolence? I, I have no interest in such things. Mm-hmm. Sure, girl. You know, girl, it's okay to like things. Well, if nothing else, talking about the Plume Punisher has, thankfully, seemed to cheer Maya up a bit. Oh, that's good. It's getting late. Try to get some sleep, okay, Maya? And leave tomorrow to me. Oh, gosh, I wonder how that's gonna go. Okay, thanks, Nick. Well, here we are. I think I've covered just about everything. Time to head back to the temple and go over everything I've learned so far. Goodness me, uh, we, I mean, we already have so much, too. How about you? My father is a great man with a gentle soul, is he not? Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yes, well, are we talking about the same person? You too could become a man of upstanding character if you just learned from his example. Sure. Upstanding character? Him? I care little for that tone of yours. It's as if you do not agree. No, 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 you have it all wrong. What's my face always such an open book? A little, Phoenix, a little. Jeez. All right, what to do? We asked her if she had any ideas when she talked about her dad. You have visited the accused a number of times already. Could it be that you are smuggling in tools one at a time for a jailbreak? How far would we even get if I tried that? Of course not. Besides, you've been watching me like a hawk. Well then, perhaps you are cutting the bars in the visitor's room bit by bit. How on earth would I even do that? With that barbed head of yours, of course. Now this is getting ridiculous. Huh. <laughs> of course it is. I'm merely having a little fun. Well, please don't have it at my expense. I'm mentally taxed already. Oh, poor Phoenix. All right, well, that was helpful. All right, uh, okay, so what do we do? We just go back to the temple then, do we? All right, okay. Temple, temple, let's go back and see what happens. Since we're staying here and all, which honestly I don't think is very safe now that we're kind of like in the, I don't know, in, the, in everyone's eye. I don't think this is gonna go well. It's getting late. Won't be long until sundown. Oh, well, who's that? Is that Albie? Hey, buddy, what's going on? Are you done with your investigation for today? Pretty much. Thought I'd go over what I've learned so far. Care to join me? Yes! Please allow me to help! Okay. First, we know that the High Priest received a warning three days ago. It was from someone claiming to be Lady Kira 
and it told him not to perform the rite. That's right, it was that rebel hunter. But what of it? That's what I'm not sure of yet. Why would Lady Kira want to stop the rite? If you could solve that mystery. Right, I could figure out her motive for threatening the high priest. It might be the break I need, but I just don't know enough right now to act on the lead. All right. How unfortunate for you, Barbed Head. Your only hope is pure speculation that shall not stand up in the Hall of Justice. You have no actual proof of Lady Kara's involvement in this crime after all. Yeah, the warning letter alone can't prove who killed the High Priest. No, it just proves that someone wanted, probably, to had a motive to do so. I'll give you one last chance to withdraw before you are charged under the DC Act. Your benevolence! While it is true that you did not forge or suppress any evidence, that is, perhaps, a product of my careful monitoring of your every move. Ma'am, I did not do that in the first trial either. If you so recall, I wasn't planning to do anything like that in the first place, your benevolence. But I am going to prove Maya's innocence within the confines of the law. Ha! <laughs> How can you be so sure you will? Because of my undying faith in my clients, that is a lawyer's greatest weapon. You tell her, Phoenix. She has to understand, hopefully, after this, surely, that she's been through two trials like this. Huh. What nonsense. You have chosen to dig your own grave. When next we meet, it shall be in the Hall of Justice. Something tells me that she's not going to be too helpful for me. Ooh, I'm worried about that. And I don't think I'm going to have anyone standing next to me the whole time this time, right? I think I'm going in there alone. As royal priestess, it is my duty to reveal the truth through the divination seance. Right, we're going to get one of those again. I figured that would happen. This time I will prove that the insights I glean thereof are the very truth itself. Prepare yourself, for this shall be your last trial and your last rites. Wow, it was really nice hanging out with you. <clears throat> Tomorrow shall end with you under the headsman's axe. Wow, it was really great getting to know you, really. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll be defending Maya in that so-called Hall of Justice again. Meanwhile, in the Hall of Justice? Can't get out of my head. Yeah, because it went so well the first time. Jeez. We did, make, we did make a little bit of a friend in the judge, and I'm hoping that's going to save us a little bit whole seance thing makes trials here completely different from those back home. Plus, I don't have a shred of conclusive evidence. <laughs> when do we ever? We don't ever have that going into these things. We just, have to, we just have to fucking bluff till we get there. Everyone's like, geez, look, you're so good at this game. Listen, I do fuck up, but like sometimes I just press until I know what I gotta do. And if I don't know, I just guess. On the other hand, I've got plenty of confusion and anxiety to spare. I don't know, I heard this trial was kind of hard, at least for some people, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, I'm probably going to fuck up. I've already done it a couple of times in this LP. I'll have to think of something. After all, I'm the only lawyer in all of Kurain. I have to do this. I will do this. I'll prove Maya's innocence if it's the last thing I do. boy, Phoenix, come on. We've got to be confident. Surely we've got... Uh-oh. Whoops. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Well, we're going we're gonna to start the trial because there's no way I'm stopping this before 20 minutes. Um, well, this is this is risky, but uh no, no, let's everyone say it together. No, 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 no. You never save while you're actively recording. It doesn't happen. We don't do that. And you shouldn't either. I'm I'm trying to save a life out here. Trust me, I know you shouldn't. J just don't ask how I know. Here we are again, okay. There's a the fishbowl that was there before. We're we're just we're back in the same place, really. I wasn't able to find any conclusive evidence yesterday. But, if I can figure out Lady Kira's motive for threatening the High Priest, well, then maybe. Hey girl, how you doing? Nick, um, today, I... well... Oh, she doesn't seem too confident, does she? Don't look so down, Maya. I'm gonna defend you with everything I got. Ooh, I can't... Ooh, I can't wait for Phoenix to meet Sadmati. I wonder what he's gonna say about him. Who's this? Is that... that might be him, actually. I'm gonna guess that it is. You would do well to cease this insanity while you still can. It's not you. Oh, no, it's her. Sorry. Sorry, girl. Give you a much more 
nice voice. She's all ready. She's all ready to go, is she? As I said yesterday, I'm going to defend my client in court. Well, know this. You shall not witness a miracle of the sort that occurred last time. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna make a miracle happen, girl. The moment she is found guilty, you too will be found guilty of abetting the accused. I never claim to be a miracle maker, but I am good at discovering the truth. And unlike miracles, the truth is always waiting to be found. You tell her, Phoenix. Damn, get on that. The truth, you say? <laughs> then it seems you have chosen your fate. This shall be... Your very last trial. Hey, I gotta, I gotta, you know what? It was nice hanging out with you. I gotta go. <gasps> Nick. Girl, don't you be worried about what she just said. I'm gonna prove you innocent, Maya. You'll see. After all, you have to introduce the plumed Punisher warrior of Neo Twilight Realm to the folks back home, right? Right. I may be defended this time. What do you mean this time? Wait, girl, this has happened multiple times. But I'll be by your side like always, Nick. Thanks, Maya. Girl, just your smiling face makes me know that I can do it. This place is tough on lawyers. I'll need all the help I can get. Plus, it's always good to have you on the team. Are they gonna let her stand next to me though? Surely not. Well, it's time. Let's go. Ooh, I really, mm, girls, I am ready to see how they react to some, I wanna see how Sadmati also, what he thinks of Phoenix as well. I really wanna see that, ooh, I can't, I can't really tell if it's gonna go better or worse than how he treated Apollo, we'll just have to see. Here we are, okay. Right, let's do this. Hello, we are here. Oh, there he is. I will tell you. Oh, she is standing next to me. Interesting that they let her do that. Judge, how the fuck are you doing? How's your braid, sir? You doing all right there, sir? I feel like we had a little bit of rapport in the last trial, so I'm hoping that you're going to be on my side today. You look lovely. Let the trial of my FA begin. The defense is ready, your majesty. Also, how you doing? You don't go. Oh, girl, how are you? Mm. I really am interested to see how this is going because I, I want to see, I'm hoping that I will see something a little bit different between them. Now, I really do like him in appearance and the way they're trying to portray him, but you know, because he's such an asshole to Apollo right out of the gate, I think they kind of made it a little difficult to like him. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I'll see something a little different here so I can kind of gather my thoughts a little bit better and get to know him a little bit more. I want to give him a chance. Huh? It's not that I hate him, I, I just... I'm interested to see where they're going with him. Maybe we just don't know enough yet. Yeah, well, he didn't say anything in the beginning of the other trial either, did he? I mean, that's kind of his MO. You can just stand there and look beautiful. That would be easier for me, <laughs> to be honest. He is beautiful. Holy shit. He's like a beautiful swan. Um, your Phoenix, <laughs> Phoenix doesn't even know what to do. He's <laughs> flabbergasted. Phoenix, this is not the first time that a prosecutor has just stood there and not said anything. That's happened many times. Quiet. Can't you see Prosecutor Safmati is absorbed in silent prayer? Oh shit, sorry. Great. The trial's barely started and the judge is already mad. We'll turn him around, Phoenix. We always do. Oh my god! The sprite of Maya is so cute! Look at it! I absolutely love it. He's very devout for a prosecutor. Huh? Why is the accused standing over there? Ooh, I was wondering about this. I said it. Judge Judy would never allow it. Oh, um... Well, uh, your majesty, in addition to being the accused, she is also my assistant. The accused is your assistant, you say? Very well, then. The criminal does indeed make a fitting partner to a lawyer with a defiled soul. Oh. How? Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> this is so funny. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, well, bad-mouthing lawyers seems to be a custom of sorts here in Kurain. And aren't you glad you trained here? I must say, I'm surprised to see you still here in Kurain, Mr. Wright. Yeah, because you guys gave me such a warm welcome before. And even more so to find you in the Hall of Justice once more. Maybe I just wanted to see your face again. Maybe I'm just falling in love with you a little bit. Listen, these things happen. I cannot fathom why you would willingly risk your life in yet another trial. The answer is simple, Your Majesty. I am a lawyer, and this is what lawyers do. Although, to be frank, I'd rather be anywhere but here right now. Really? 
Oh, hello, gorgeous. How are you doing today? You know, you look you look fabulous, I gotta say. Such foolishness. Ah, oh, Prosecutor Sadmari, are you ready to begin now? He's a little bit like a Disney princess. You know, not a likable one, but, you, you know, all the same. Yes, your majesty, the prosecution is ready. Let us begin without further delay. Oof, all right. But first, I promise you both this. I will cast your wicked souls into the fires of hell. Okay, good. I, I'm very glad to meet you two. Thus shall the soul of the victim attain salvation. Ha 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 ha! Splendid! I would expect nothing less of you, Prosecutor Sadmadi. Remember, for as good of a prosecutor he is, he's very famous here. Please save the victim's soul! Punish the wicked lawyer who dares to stop these last rites! Oh, everyone sucks! Oh my god. I think I'll pass on that whole fire and brimstone deal. But I'm not surprised by your words or stance, considering what Apollo's told me about you. Ooh, there you go. Talk some girls, spill the tea. <laughs> That'll get him riled up. Probably doesn't even care. Maybe we shouldn't even have said that we know him. <laughs> That's probably better in to start with. So, it was you who instilled that putrid lawyerly guide within him. Guile, sorry. Oh yeah, that was bad. That was probably bad. Maybe we shouldn't have even have said that we know him. Well, well now he's gonna judge us even harsher, I bet. Putrid? Wait, what? Oh, Phoenix. Oh, you're in for it, dude. He, too, must soon face the fires, lest his soul be lost. To redemption. Oh, don't be mad just because he won. You know that he won. It's okay to be mad a little. But I shall send you on ahead, so that he will not be lonely when he arrives. How nice of you. Oh, sorry, but I'm afraid it won't be that easy. People say I never know when to give up. It's true. Edward said that a lot. Nervous, Maya? A little. Feels like it's been ages since we stood side by side like this in court. I know. Oh, too bad that I'm the defendant. Well, I mean, <laughs> like I said, girl, this happened before. Don't worry. We haven't lost the case together yet. You're right. Let's give this everything we've got, Nick. Girl, we've got this. All right, let's start. Now then, Prosecutor Sadmati, would you please explain the case at hand? Of course, your majesty. Let us begin the last rites of the victim. Oh, but <laughs> why is that funny? I don't fucking know why I laugh at that every time. It's just a fucking scroll. It wouldn't be funny if it was a book. Just the way the thing just goes on. I just some, <laughs> I just feel like he's reading his grocery list. It's just, it's just weird. Maya Faye has been charged with the crime of murder. The victim of her heinous crime was High Priest Tarust and me. He was conducting the purification rite when he was brutally slain. That all seems right so far. Well, it's in the murder business. And the cause of death? Let us review the victim's autopsy report and the crime scene photo, shall we? And I like that he does this immediately. He did it in the last one, too. At least they get to show us this now rather than later when it's too late. The cause of death was blood loss from a stab wound delivered to the abdomen. The murder weapon was likely the Warbad dagger, which was used in the rite. However, the weapon has yet to be found, though the scene was thoroughly searched. Yeah, that's gonna be the... that's gonna be the big ace. In the hole when we find out where that thing went. A sacred relic used as a tool of murder? The Holy Mother's wrath shall be most severe. The murder itself took place at the height of the purification rite. The accused had donned Lady Kira's sacred robes, and the victim was there to offer prayers as a high priest of Kuranism. During the rite, the victim and accused were the only two at the inner sanctum. Therefore, the only person who could have slain the victim is Maya Fey. Yeah, it does look bad starting out, doesn't it? It really does. Mm, I must say that that does cast a great deal of suspicion upon the accused. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't attest to that. I mean, I agree with him. It does, indeed. But we gotta fix it. Now then, allow me to submit this diagram and the crime scene as evidence in the case. Oh, thank you. Okay. Inner Sanctum diagram, a diagram of the scene of the high priest's murder. It shows where the lanterns and the warbad statue are. Right, all right. 
Take a look at that in a minute. Or I'll forget. <laughs> One of two things could happen. No, I'm gonna look at it now. I'm, I'm tired of forgetting these things. All right, let's just look at it. I mean, we just saw it, but okay, the lantern, the lantern, the broken lantern. That seems to be right because it seemed like the broken lantern was behind us to the left when we walked in there. Curtain and a curtain. That seems to be correct for now. Okay. Right, all right. In Quranism, slaying a priest is a sin most grave and dreadful. <laughs> I'd say in any religion that could be the same thing. Yes. As such, my effaced soul shall be plunged into the lowest level of hell. The hell of tickling. What? I don't remember that in has been. Wait, is that actually a thing? Is it one of the rings? The tickling ring. All right. Listen, I would not like that at all. That would be my worst. Tickling makes me feel so sick. Ugh. No, thank you. There she shall be tickled without end for 500 million years. Whoa. Okay, can you leave your, your kinks out of this, please? That is a terrible fate indeed. Would the defense care to respond? <clears throat> Girl, how you feel about that? And here I thought the lowest level of hell was the hell of back pain. Now that's one ring up. I don't remember killing anyone, and I don't have that dagger or anything like it. As my client stated, she has no memory of the, the event as described by the prosecution. But more importantly, she had no motive to kill the high priest in the first place. Yes, darling? It was good to hear your voice again, though. Shoot. <laughs> I thought you might say that. Nevertheless... The meaningless prattle of lawyers is utterly ineffectual here in the Hall of Justice. For all will be made clear by her benevolence, Rafa Padma Kurain's insights. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Can't wait to see it five times. So it is, and so it shall be. The divination seance reveals the truth for all to see. Here we go again. That, I literally just said it. Why am I Phoenix? Bailiff, please show in the royal priestess. All right, let's have a look at this. And then we're going to have to go through it, right? Like we did before. Hello. Hi, dear. Oh, it's Princess Rafa. Oh, how beautiful her benevolence looks again today. Glory to the Holy Mother for this blessed day! Yeah, I got to hang out with her. What do you guys think about that? Man, I'm important. <laughs> I've got a piece of her gown right here. I touched her! I didn't touch her. As popular as ever, I see. Rest assured, good people of Karain, that I will defeat this murderer and her a better. They shall not escape on their freedom express today. What a joy it is to have the royal priestess back in the Hall of Justice. May the Holy Mother grant us her divine favor. Udhara Kurain. Me too, yeah. You're the Daihatsu of Kurain, I agree. She sure looks pleased with herself. Well, this is her job. Especially for someone who didn't know what a Freedom Express was until yesterday. Listen, it's all right, you can learn. Is there something stuck to my face, barbed head? No, no, it's no, just your face. <laughs> no, nothing, your benevolence. Now then, your benevolence, the divination seance, if you please. Uh, we should have time for this, right? Yeah, we should be good. Very well, Nanya, my rope. Whoop. Thank you. Man, how do you, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, the ladies are just on point. All right, oh, here we go. Holy Mother, we hold this divination seance in your name. Yeah, my voice for her doesn't sound anything like that. Sorry, Let guys. The eyes of everyone here be clear, and our ears be unstopped. I'll just keep my voice. Oh, dance of devotion, guide the victim's soul to me, so that we may receive their final memories in the pool of souls. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, what? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, shit. <laughs> Probably just gonna be basically the same, except for the other stuff, right? Oh, we can skip. Do we skip? I don't know. No, we should watch it. We should watch the first one. I'm assuming it's gonna be exactly the same, though. Let's take a look and make sure. And if it is, then, well, we can skip all the rest. But just in case people missed it. I don't know. 
feel like it would be rude to skip the first one. I don't know. I don't know. We've already... Yeah, this looks like to be the same, though, doesn't it? Maybe I just really like this music. That arm, <laughs> that arm movement gets me every time. It doesn't really fit with the rest of it. You do you, girl. It's beautiful. <clears throat> I'm, sip I'm sipping drinks. Don't worry. We watching. I'm sipping drinks. This all seems to be the exact same. Yay. Lovely. Well done. All right. I really just did that to give my voice a break and have a drink. Works for me. All right, here we go. Uh, so I might not have time to do this whole thing now because it kind of does run like a cross-examination, doesn't it? Oh, shit, I didn't think of that. Well, there's Maya. And remember, we're looking through the eyes of, of the priest, I believe, so. All right, let's see, he's looking at lanterns. He's looking at that. I'm just gonna look at it for now and just see if I can notice anything. Wind blew the... Oh. Hello. Incense and footsteps. Pain. So the incense was overpowering, right? Because it got bigger. Is that what that means? And then the footsteps, that didn't get bigger. It was just there. And then pain, that kind of went a little bit bigger. Hmm. Uh oh, I think we're going to be in trouble because I think we're probably going to have to stop here. Because once I start this, I'm going to have to go through everything with a fine tooth comb. Shit. Whoops. The victim's Matama has spoken. The divination seance is complete. Great. Another clearly incriminating seance vision. A little bit. It could not be any clearer, O oh foul defense. The accused donned the sacred robes of Lady Kira and then attacked the victim. Now, where would she get all that shit from? How would that even be possible? Oh, how very terrible it must have been. The figure of Lady Kira lit against the dim lantern light. The scent of incense growing ever more potent as she drew near. One can almost sense the horror Abbot Emmy must have felt. Man, no wonder these things just go really quickly. It does look bad, doesn't it? When you put it like that, shit. The facts are presented by her benevolence are disputable. Indisputable, sorry. But that wasn't me. Do something, Nick. We are going to do something, and we're going to do it in the next one. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying so much as I am. In the next one, we will go through uh, the insight and see what we can find. I'm just going to really put a fine-tooth comb on everything and make sure I hopefully don't miss anything. And we'll start the trial and see what we can discover. And can we prove Maya's innocence? I don't think we'll know just yet, but come with me for the journey and we'll figure it out together. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate all your comments, all the likes. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Toodaloo.